Hello everyone, my name is Shiki, and today I got wet. So I was coming back from meeting with my friends. I got onto my bike and I rode back home. On the way, it started to rain. It was raining pretty hard, and I thought, "Hey, my house is just a few more kilometers up ahead. I should just ride faster and get back home faster." And if I do that, I would probably get less wet because you know, faster means less wet. But on the way, well, there were a lot of red lights and other people were also speeding, and it got me thinking. I I, I, I started to contemplate my life decisions and whether I should actually go faster in a rainy day. So I got back home, booted up my PC, got onto Unity, and m made a program to simulate it. And here it is. I started Unity and it broke, so I had to reinstall it, and now it works. So I made a program, I needed a rider model to represent myself, so I got onto GIMP and drew one. I imported it to Unity and put it on the, on the scene. And then I made rain using the Unity particle system. I gave it a collision and now it works like a physics object. Then I got onto my rider model and made a hitbox for it. So every time the rain hit my rider, it detects it and counts the number of particles that it hit. And then I got onto testing. I got into this thinking that if I ride faster, I get less wet. But the reality is not always what we expected. I started with one speed. It's, it's not one kilometer per hour, nor is it one meter per second. It's just one. It's just the base speed so we can uh, proof whether you actually get less wet or not. Now, wetness is a matter of debate, uh, and we're not going to debate about whether you can have max wetness or be wet and not wet at the same time. But let's just count wetness as the amount of rain particle that you hit, and we're going to use the one speed as base wetness. So at one speed, you hit about 1500 rain particles. At two speed, you hit 800. At three speed, you hit 500. At four speed, 400. Five speed, 300. And at six speed, you hit 250 rain particles. As you can see, as you go faster, you hit less rain particles. So that means you get less wet, right? Yes, well, not exactly. When you go faster, you hit less rain particles, but this test was done at the same distance, let's say 100 meters. So in 100 meters, if you go faster, you hit less rain. But in a real life situation, you don't go just 100 meters, you go at least a kilometer or 10 kilometers or maybe even more. And at that point, whether you go fast or you go slow is hard to say. You can't always keep a constant uh, 200 kilometers an hour pace uh, in a 10 kilometer trip. You have to speed up or you have to slow down and that comes down to travel time. You see, at one speed you travel at, well I didn't actually count how long it took for the rider to make it to his destination well let's say at one speed you take 10 seconds to reach the destination and at six speed which is six times as fast it should take a sixth of the time meaning that if you go at six speed for the same amount of time as one speed which is 10 seconds it hits six times the amount of rain particles and six times of 250 is 1500 now you see what i'm getting at here yes when you ride faster you hit less rain particles at the same distance 
However, at the same amount of time traveled, you get wet just the same. You hit the same amount of grain particles, you get just as wet, you get wet the same, you get wet. So the only way to get less wet is to wear a rain jacket. Or get in a car, I guess. Uh...